All right, welcome back, YouTube preppers. It is Prepping Outside the Box. I'm Josh, and like I said yesterday, we're going to get into situational awareness. Um, I broke it down and some key things that I think are important, whether you know them or not. Hopefully, you learned something. But uh, right before I do, if you guys wouldn't mind, go ahead and like and share, subscribe, whatever whatever you feel like doing. It does help us grow. Helps us uh, kind of get words out to people that may not have the information, right? So, anyways, situational awareness and what is it, right? So it's, uh, your essay is going to be you taking information, gathering it, right? And then interpreting it and getting your perception of the information to what is basically going on, what it is, and what you might perceive the future of that is going to be, right? So <clears throat> you're gathering and you're, you're uh, interpreting information, long story short. And as a person in preparedness, survival, or whatever, it is key. And if you don't have situational awareness, you are at a serious disadvantage, basically just in life. Um, if, it's, if it's not something you're really on, you need to get on it and, and start uh, paying more attention to it. Anyways, so what are we looking for? Um, <clears throat> depending on where you're at and what you're doing, I know these things vary and they change, but uh, take into consideration what I've talked about before, color, contrast, and movement, the things that catch the eye, the things that um, help you uh, kind of see uh, differences in environments and things like that and what's going on. So color, contrast, and movement it would be a big one in a wooded area or somewhere outside of a, an urban environment. Uh, it still helps in urban environments, but I, I, feel, I feel a lot of that pertains to other uh, terrain. A big thing while you're out, maybe um, noticing exits, um, things like that. Um, what people are doing, you know, uh, and like a little people watching. Everyone enjoys people watching. It's it's sometimes entertaining. But as you're walking to, let's say, your table at a restaurant or something like that, you know, take a glance at what's around you, who's around you, where the exit is, where the bathroom is. When you send your kid off, you want to know where they go, right? Um, but things like that, right? And the whole idea is we're not, you're not staking out a place. You're not walking in there and calculating how many cameras are watching you and do all this. I mean, if you are, you are, but that's not the point of it. It's just merely knowing where you are, right? Having an understanding of, of your, your position as of where you're sitting and, and how you can get out and things happen, you want to be able to react, right? So just that, just merely knowing where you are. Uh, essay, I'll just say essay instead of the whole situational awareness, essay is a constant thing that's never going to change, right? And I'm not saying it's constant as in you have to stay in the red, and we've talked about the color coding before where red is like a heightened alert, you're basically at the ready, ready to go, right? Um, I'm not saying stay in the red. I'm not saying that you have to be on edge and twitchy and things like that. Um, like I was saying, merely knowing where you are. But your surroundings, when I say it's constant, are, are constantly changing, right? It's going to change as it pleases. So whether it's um, you're hunting and it's, and it's looking for animals just because you looked in this direction, there's nothing doesn't mean something won't change, right? Whether it be a predator or prey or whatever it is. Um, so your, your surroundings constantly change. You might have been to this area of the woods or wherever you're at <clears throat> a thousand times before, but trees fall, things happen, right? People might move in. You don't know. Uh, so that's why you have situational awareness. Another one is, is people. People are going to move. Objects are going to move in urban, suburban environments and all that kind of stuff. If it's not a fixed object, and, and uh, not saying buildings can't move, they can change, <clears throat> but as a, as a smaller uh, bit of a little more micro than a building being blown up or torn down, right, or burnt down, um, People move and objects move, cars move, things like that. So keeping your essay <clears throat> on what's around you is going to change different situations for you if they arise, right? Um, as an example, and I don't really... Cars are not good cover, right? Depending on where you're at on the vehicle. But if <clears throat> you were in a, a heavily populated area and someone decided to, to pop off some rounds and you were going to get cover and you knew that there was... A vehicle here, a vehicle there, but you weren't aware of the fact that the driver was in the vehicle, right? Um, things like that, right? So keep in mind what's going on uh, around you. Stuff moves and situational awareness is constant. Um, 
when I'm saying that, and I've already basically explained it, but I'm saying that gathering the information and uh, and all your interpretations, all this stuff is constantly changing and evolving as situations change and evolve, right? That's what I mean by it never stops. Now, some things to consider are going to be your demeanor. Um, for one, you're not the only one paying attention, right? And what you're almost looking out for to, a, to an extent, um, or one of the things you might be on a security aspect uh, looking out for is uh, people paying attention to you, uh, awkward behavior, things like that. So your demeanor is going to change that. Uh, we talked about keeping your head up when you're walking around. You looking more confident is making you, in my opinion, a harder target, right? Um, so almost think, think like a bad guy. And I've talked about that before too. Uh, I like to go back to that all the time. Thinking like a bad guy helps you really um, critique yourself on your own decision making, right? So <clears throat> when I talk about your demeanor, think like a bad guy. If you were looking at yourself, are you somebody that you would mess with at that moment, right? Uh, your appearance is going to play a big a big part in it. Um, are you dressed really nice? Not saying you can't dress nice. You go out on a date or whatever you're doing. But are you dressed really nice and should you be more aware of the fact that maybe when you're walking uh, downtown or wherever you are on your date that you have a really nice watch on a suit or whatever it is um, and that you might be a bigger target for theft and things like that. Are you printing? And by printing I mean when you're concealed carrying, um, well if you're open carrying then you're definitely, your appearance is definitely giving you away to other people, but if you're concealed carrying, your printing is basically showing the outline of that firearm that you have on your waistband or wherever it's at, right? So things to consider when you're doing that is uh, how are you looking and how do other people look? So you're looking at the same thing for for both. Um, like I was saying, you're not the only one paying attention. Bad guys that are planning on doing bad things usually are paying attention. So uh, <clears throat> always be, you know, step ahead of them. On a side note, um, just kind of closing all this stuff off because situational awareness is, is a very... Uh, a easy subject to talk about and I know we can go off in a thousand different scenarios and all this different kind of stuff I just want you to understand that it is evolving some things you're looking for and, and to really get on it if it's not something that's part of your life but on that side note before you sleep are you aware of your like say home security your are your doors locked are your windows on the first floor or wherever they are, are they are they closed um, are, is your vehicle doors um, or your garage door, are they locked up, are they closed? So making sure your thing's secured is, for one, it's gonna give you peace of mind, especially if you're in an area. I mean, we've had, my sister just got robbed actually because she's a, she's kind of a bonehead and decided to leave her vehicle unlocked, but um, it can't happen, right? Even if you live in a nice neighborhood or wherever it is at, but uh, you are gonna be sleeping, so help yourself out. Make sure before you go to bed, you have some of these things covered because it's gonna, going to be a little hard to be situationally aware when you are asleep, right? Um, another little quick one, uh, have you ever taken your kids around, uh, shown them where a fire extinguisher was in the house if they ever needed to use it? Um, things like that, the, the first aid kit and things like that, if they ever needed to grab them, do they know how to call 911 if they ever needed to get help for you or, or the wife or anybody like that? So make sure um, for that you kind of help them out um, in your own security aspect of that. You're not always going to be able to take care of things and always be the one that is aware of what's going on around you. You need to make sure they can do it too. Um, another, the biggest thing, and I will I will end off with this, while you're away, while you're out, or while you're, while you're home and your kids are playing, I don't know where you live, or your kids are playing outside, watch them like a hawk. Um, unless they know how, well not even unless they know how to defend themselves, watch them like a hawk. Um, even in some of the most crowded environments, you could have people walk up and snatch your kid. I've had uh, friends had their kids snatched up. They, they got stopped. But I've had friends get their uh, kids snatched up. My daughter almost got snatched up. Um, pe people are, are, uh, are sick. And kidnapping kids is a big thing. Kidnapping is a, a, a threat that is constant as well. So s ending with this. Be very aware, and when your kids are playing and they're having fun, you are their security. You've had your fun as a child, let them have their fun and just, you know, be their safety and their security net, right? Their safety net uh, while they're out there and pay attention. Um, but anyways, yeah, we already talked about all this. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section. If you have anything to add, I would love to hear what you have to say. 
Um, like I said, I try to keep it a little short and sweet, um, but I love, I love people adding their knowledge in the comment section, helping everybody kind of grow together. And I am going to do something pretty fun tomorrow. If you know what Kim's games are, uh, the video will be uh, incorporating that, about that, and um, we'll be doing a little game. So uh, that'll be tomorrow's video. Uh, but for now, I'm prepping outside the box. Josh, and I will see you then.